Hello everyone, this is Matt Villar and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna do a review of this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. And I'm going to request to make a review on this video because this one is for oily skin. Then, sa mga katulad ko na problema do maghanap ng foundation kasi all throughout the day and dami foundation na nahuhulas lang. Definitely, may makikita at makikita kayo nito sa drugstores near you. For its price, you can buy it for only 399 pesos. And for its packaging, the bottle is made of glass. It's 30 ml and madali siyang stack. Like for example, if you have a lot of this foundation, pwede mo siyang ipagtabi-tabi kasi hindi siya bilugan. What I like about it is that nakalagay sa baba kung kailan siya minanufacture. So, manufacturing date is 01, 2018. So, that's January 2018. It says here it's for normal to oily. So, no, no, no to those na meron dry skin. Ang top, ay kita niyo yung shade niya. It's 120 Classic Ivory. Alright? Pros ng packaging, yan, may kita mo pa lang siya, parang, um, mm, ang mahal-mahal. Pero, 399 pesos lang. Parang bumili ka lang ng isang lipstick, right? Ayan. It has no applicator. If you open it, ayan, diretso siya na bilog. Dito lalabas yung product. So, kapag ina-apply ko to on my hand, talagang kailangan kong kontrolin kasi runny din siya. Medyo magiging magastos kasi, kasi hindi mo makakontrol yung amount of product na lalabas mismo dun sa bottle. Uh, this one, I got the 120 Classic Ivory. Doon sa mga kababayan natin na morena, marami kayong may kitang shade na babagay sa inyo. At sa mga kababayan naman natin na sobrang puti, uh, yun lang, baka hindi pa ganun kaputi, yung pinakamaputi na shade nila. But, doon sa range ng shade na we have in this uh, line, Fit Me na line, ang dami. Pwede kang pumili depending doon sa shade ng skin mo. Meron lang siyang konting plastic-like na smell Pag inamoy mo lang naman, dun mo mahalata na meron siyang smell. Pero kapag nilagay mo naman siya on your face, hindi naman ganun ka nagsistay yung uh, smell niya. Faint smell lang talaga siya. So, ito try natin foundation. Tatanggalin ko lang muna yung makeup on my face. And, and I'll be back with the bare face. Hi! So, I'm back. For the sake of this video, wala tayong ilalagay na any primer or concealer before the foundation. And, ilalagay natin to para hindi naman messy. Siya. Yan. Ah, I'm We'll be applying this foundation on this part of my face lang. Half lang muna. Para makompare natin later kung ano yung difference niya on the other side. As you can see, makikita niyo lahat ng imperfections ng aking skin. Sobrang runny niya. Yan, makikita niyo. Bumababa siyang bumababa ako. Kailangan i-apply mo na siya agad dahil nagmamatify din siya on the skin. Na-try ko na kasi before, nanilagay ko siya, and then pinaset ko muna siya ng 5 minutes before applying it on my skin. Iba na yung texture niya, matte na siya, kaya make sure na i-apply niyo na siya agad on your face. Sobrang dali lang niya i-apply. So yung amount ng product na nilagay natin on my hand kanina, perfect siya for one half lang of my face. Kaya... Medyo magastos tayo sa product kapag ito yung ginamit nating foundation. So, I'm done applying one layer of foundation on half of my face. And may kita nyo naman, kitang-kita naman dito yung difference niya on the other half na wala pang foundation. So, unang-una, I have to check na conceal ba niya yung eye bags ko. So, yan. Lalapit ako ng conceal sa inyo. Yes, na-conceal niya in such a way na hindi mo na masyado makikita yung uh, discoloration under my eye and even on top of my eye. Na-cover naman niya yung pagiging yellowish ng skin ko on those areas. So, as for my blemishes, hindi niya masyado na-cover. Actually, almost close to none yung coverage niya dun sa blemishes. Kasi kung makikita niyo ngayon, uh, konti lang yung difference nung pimple marks on the left side of my face dito sa right side. Ang difference lang, pinalighten lang niya yung skin color ko. But then, may kita mo pa rin na meron pa rin mga dots, 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 mga acne scars and acne marks. Next question, nag-even out ba yung skin tone? Yes, nag-even out po siya. Ayan, kita-kita naman dito. Hindi mo mahahalata na wala akong concealer or walang primer underneath. At ito yung pinaka-madugong question, nabuburo ba niya yung pores? And the answer is yes. Para kang nag-edit ng photo sa Photoshop na tinatanggal mo yung mga blemishes, yung mga pores. 
So now, let's continue applying it on the other side of my face. I suggest, dun sa mga kailangan ng full coverage on their skin, this is not the foundation for you. But if you're gonna use it for everyday use, like for example, you're gonna run errands, do groceries, go to school, or whatsoever, pwedeng-pwede siya. Hindi naman siya masyadong nabubura all throughout the day. So right now, we're done applying the product on my face. So, let's test it if it's sticky. It's not sticky at all. When I apply it, it's set it immediately on my face. It doesn't need to be dry up. It lives up to the expectation that it's really going to match your face. Mo. But the thing is, this one looks natural. It doesn't look flat. So it looks like it's still alive. So let's try it if Let's transfer it. I have this tissue over here. Try not to transfer. Blood not not to come. Ooh. Tissue. Tissue to transfer. Try that one day. Ayan. Kapag kapag medyo hard yung pagpress mo on your face, magde transfer it. But if yung pag press mo naman sa face mo, ganyan-ganyan lang. Hindi po siya nagtatransfer. I'm gonna finish my face with a finishing powder and magkikilay lang muna ako. I'll be back in a few. This is my completed makeup look. Right now, it's 10.58 a.m. Naglagay ako ng finishing powder. I use the FS Powder Foundation to finish my face. And then, naglagay lang ako ng eyebrows plus blush. And for the finished product, I would say na maganda siya for a natural look. Yung fresh lang. Ito siya, close up. So, nabura naman niya yung mga pores ko na... Nabura din niya yung discoloration on my face. Although yung mga pimple marks ko, kitang-kita pa rin. Pero okay na yung ganito. At least natural lang siya. Hindi siya cakey. Hindi rin siya nagtatransfer. So later, we'll try to check kung uh, mag-oxidize ba siya on my face. E kaya ba niyang mag-hold up dun sa init ng panahon dito sa Pilipinas. So hi, I'm back. It's now... Yeah. So, okay na okay pa rin siya. Masyado nag-oxidize on my face. Natural looking lang siya. Even if lumabas ako ito, nasa labas ako. May kita mo may foundation ako, pero hindi yung parang espasol na tignan. We're gonna check later ulit, after a few hours, if ganito pa rin ba yung itchman niya. Hi, I'm back. So, for another check-in, yung mga rough lines ko. Nag-stick doon yung foundation. Nagmukhang aged yung skin ko under my eyes. Na-emphasize niya yung lines on your face. Mas nakalata na ngayon yung mga pimple marks ko, ganyan. Kasi habang pinagpapawisan ako, nabubura din yung foundation. And right now, na-emphasize na yung mga blemishes ko on my forehead. And yan, oh, sobrang oily na ng nose ko. Ayan, so sobrang oily niya. Nagmamantika na talaga siya. Parang akong lichong ganyan. Meron ng mga namumuumuong spots dito na later nga ibablot ko with tissue and oil blotting paper. Pero when you see yung mismo cheeks ko, yan, okay pa rin naman siya. Under my eye, makikita mo na pumasok yung foundation dun sa mismong linya ng eye bags ko. For my final verdict about the product, so first one, the price, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. It's only 399 pesos, pero the amount of product na ilalabas mo mula dun sa foundation, medyo maaksaya tayo sa product kasi maliit lang yung coverage niya on your skin. So, yung 399 pesos mo, oo, mura siya compared to the other foundations, but marami kang gagamitin. So, yung 399 na 30ml, mabilis mo lang mauubos yung bottle na yun. So, next for the packaging, uh, gusto ko siya kasi meron siyang feel of luxury. Siyempre, wala sa akin yung packaging. Nandun sa bed. Anyway, 
okay siya kasi glass yung bottle niya. So, kapag dinisplay mo siya on your vanity table, on your desk, mukha siyang mahal. Hindi siya mukhang 399 pesos. But, medyo delikado siya kapag nahulog mo. Kasi una nga, glass siya. Plus, wala siyang applicator. Eh, yun ang unang-unang hinahanap ko sa mga foundation bottles. For the shades available, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Sobrang wide ng range niya. So, kung makikita mo, lahat ng mga makeup stands ng Maybelline, makikita mo talaga na meron sila for lighter skin tone, for morena. If hindi mo pa rin makita yung skin tone mo, between the lightest and then the darkest one, I suggest you buy the lightest and then the darkest, tapos paghaluin na lang. So, ganun minsan yung ginagawa ko kapag hindi ko ma-achieve yung skin color. For longevity, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 lang. Yung skin ko kasi, pawisin. Kaya hindi siya nagsistay all throughout the day. But, natry ko na rin kasi siyang gamitin sa office na fully aircond naman. At the end of the day, nagstay siya. Pero dun sa mga moments na kailangan kong pumunta sa site or kailangan kong lumabas outside under the sun, talagang pagpapawisan, may kita ko na wala na. After like 5 hours, kailangan mo na ulit i-reapply yung foundation mo. As for the coverage, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. The pros ng coverage niya, it has a light coverage, pero buildable. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look that dry on your skin. So, will I repurchase this product? Yes, I will. Kasi okay siya for everyday look, hindi naman siya cakey. Yun nga lang coverage niya, light lang. Gustong gusto ko yung product na to, pero hindi pa rin siya yung holy grail foundation ko. Kasi nga, medyo special case yung skin ko dahil pawisin na nga, acidic at oily pa. Yun lang. So, <laughs> so, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe and share this video. So, that's it. See you on my next video. Bye!